We know COVID-19 started in the city of Wuhan in China. Most scientists think that bats are the original source of the virus, and then it jumped to humans in a Wuhan wet market. But American intelligence is now saying that COVID-19 may have come from a lab. China rejects this claim entirely, and most scientists think it's unlikely too. So what's the truth? Is the Wuhan lab theory pure conspiracy, a distraction technique for US political ends? Or is it a question worth asking? This video will tell you what we know and what we don't know about the origin of the coronavirus. On December the 31st, the Chinese government told the World Health Organization that a new disease had emerged in Wuhan. They shared the genetic sequence. The following day, they closed a local wet market selling live wild animals. Wuhan was then locked down on January the 23rd. The next day, an article from Chinese scientists was published in the medical journal The Lancet. They said only 27 out of the 41 initial cases were linked to the market. So what were the other potential origins? The uncertainty gave rise to the theory that COVID-19 may have originated in a nearby Wuhan Center for Disease Control or the Wuhan Institute of Virology. President Trump, always happy to blame China, 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 now says he's seen evidence. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. And, and what gives you a high degree of confidence that this originated from the Wuhan Institute of Virology? I can't tell you that. I'm not allowed to tell you that. The director of the Wuhan lab denies it had anything to do with starting COVID-19. As people who carry out viral studies, we clearly know what kind of research is going on at the Institute and how the Institute manages viruses and samples. As we said early on, there's no way this virus came from us. Chinese authorities are often criticized for their lack of transparency. Early on, they silenced whistleblowers like Dr. Li Wenliang, who raised concerns about the severity of the coronavirus before dying from it himself. Yes, China did a number of things pretty badly. It underplayed and even denied widespread community transmission. And foreign experts, including officials from the World Health Organization, haven't been allowed into China to help investigate the origin of the virus. All this has given the US administration ammunition. Remember, China has a history of infecting the world. There is a significant amount of evidence that this came from that laboratory in Wuhan. Look, the best experts so far seem to think it was man-made. I have no reason to disbelieve that at this point except they don't. The virus is not deliberately manufactured. There's no uh, motive for doing that. Uh, there is no genetic evidence for that. Some conspiracy theorists have even gone as far as to say that the virus could have been a bioweapon, deliberately engineered by the Chinese to wreak havoc on the rest of the world. Most intelligence agencies and scientists, though, reject this claim. Why would you use this kind of virus? it would rebound against your own population. It doesn't make sense as a motive whatsoever. Okay, so let's talk about the possibility of an accidental lab leak. Well, it certainly is possible that the pandemic could be the result of safety lapses in the course of basic scientific uh, research. There could be infections in the lab, there could be lab leaks, there could be waste that hasn't been incinerated properly, there could be fieldwork infections. Concerns were raised in 2018 about whether correct safety measures were being followed at the Wuhan Institute of Virology. The US State Department sent officials to go and check it out, and they say they found safety in management weaknesses. But scientists have been quick to defend the professionalism of the Institute. Many of my colleagues here in the United States have worked with those scientists in the Wuhan Institute of Virology, and generally their reputation is that they are world-class virologists working in a state-of-the-art facility that has been developed with the input of European and US researchers. So most scientists say while there is a chance the virus could have somehow leaked from the lab, it's unlikely. And the weight of scientific evidence suggests that COVID-19 first spread naturally. We do know that there are thousands of Chinese bat coronaviruses uh, in China, in Southeast Asia. And we know a lot of viruses are actually transmitted by bats um, into humans. And some examples of this are Ebola virus, Marburg virus, Nipah virus. The most likely explanation for this is that somebody encountered a bat 
infected with a novel coronavirus that also had the capability of infecting humans. Another likely scenario is that somebody encountered another animal species that had encountered a bat carrying one of these coronaviruses. This is where the wet market comes in. Even if the virus had escaped from the Wuhan Research Lab, that particular virus still has to go through an intermediate uh, host, which is a wildlife animal, to jump to humans. In the wet market in Wuhan, seafood and wildlife, among other things, are bought and sold in cramped and dirty conditions. Wild animals are a delicacy for a small proportion of the well-off in Chinese society. Not all wet markets are unhygienic, but if they are, a bat could easily infect another animal with blood, pus or droppings. Then all it takes is for a trader to have a cut or a wound which comes into contact with that animal and they're infected too. Or for that animal to be bought and eaten as a delicacy. When you put a large number of animals in a small space, you run the risk of the outbreak of pandemics. There are also millions of people in China and Southeast Asia living near bat caves that could be exposed somehow to coronaviruses. It's totally possible that um, there is another explanation besides market lab. So we know the scientific consensus says COVID-19 most likely started naturally. The virus jumped from a bat to a human somehow, or from a bat to another animal, to a human in a wet market. While it's good to ask questions about it leaking from a lab experiment, scientists say it's not likely. And this virus hasn't been tampered with or manufactured. And scientists say it isn't, to the disappointment of some conspiracy theorists, a weapon engineered for bio-warfare. The key point from scientists is don't make this political. It frustrates me a great deal because it's not quite clear to me what the State Department is actually saying other than were suspicious and talking about these suspicions as if they're fact without producing any type of evidence to support them I think is both politically and scientifically very dangerous. Much of what we know about bat SARS like coronaviruses is the result of these uh, fruitful and productive collaborations with scientists at the Wuhan Institute of Virology and in China. Although President Xi Jinping and President Donald Trump are at completely polar ends of the political spectrum, they both appear to be touting theories without proper evidence to back them up. China's latest is that an American army reservist brought the virus into Wuhan when she took part in the military games in October 2019. You know, the truth is, is that um, uh, this is just all part of the kind of power struggle between the two superpowers that began with the trade war. It just has no place in dealing with a current public health crisis um, that we really need to focus on extensively. It's politically useful for Trump and Xi to play the blame game. A simple cause is an easy sell. And with thousands of Chinese citizens and tens of thousands of Americans dead from the virus, a simple cause helps both Trump and Xi deflect criticism over how they've handled the crisis on their own soil. But this virus is anything but simple. There are going to be several major independent investigations. I served on several of the post-Ebola um, uh, commissions. We're already talking about it. Beijing has never denied that COVID-19 originated in Wuhan, but finding the first case or patient zero for any virus can take months or even years. Scientists say it's not unusual we haven't found one yet. These people are at the top of their field, researching and collaborating across borders, trying to find out everything they can about this deadly virus. They just wish the politicians, for once, would stay out of it.